Fairness for all Bermuda means taking care of our seniors, our youth, the most at risk members of our society. We believe that our seniors, the people who work long and hard to build this country, deserve to enjoy their golden years with dignity. The B Progressive Labor Party has stabilized medical costs with future care, helped reduce expenses by cutting taxes on primary residents, eliminated vehicle license and registration fees for seniors, increased the pensions payable to our seniors 10 times since 2002, enacted the Seniors Abuse Register Act, established the National Office for Seniors and the Physically Challenged, completed the Rockaway Seniors Facility for over 100 seniors, established mandatory licensing and standards for all elder care facilities, eliminated a long-standing policy of discrimination against Bermuda war veterans. The next PLP government will establish a national strategy to address our growing aging population and to anticipate and address their needs. Introduce a series of silver initiatives, including silver learning, senior learning, and technical assistance for internet and emails. Conduct a legislative review to ensure that all of our laws affecting seniors are modernized. Establish elder care homes in collaboration with the community, the private sector, and residents. For our young people, we believe that they deserve all of the opportunities that we can give them to succeed. To do this, the PLP will expand youth apprenticeship and internship schemes, expand new business opportunities, enhance and expand after-school program activities, introduce the Youth Mentoring Success Careers Program. The PLP will restore our communities by investing in sports, arts, and music activities, expand educational scholarships, provide returning graduates with red carpet treatment, including career counseling, internships, and mentoring. Standing strong for Bermudians means expanding skills and opportunities for our youth, preserving a life of dignity and security for all our seniors and stronger communities. Thank you. Just in case you all didn't see it. <laughs> to look at the evolution of education today requires that we remember how public education in Bermuda came about and what public education was perceived to be. Today, we hold high expectations for our children. We know that they can all achieve if given the right tools. That is why we plan to add a scholarship specifically for someone with a disability who wants to obtain a university education. We know that education is the key to success and that is why we remain committed to providing our students with a world-class education that prepares them for the global economy. As we state in the pl net platform, the next PLP government will continue to lay the groundwork to lower the school age to four years of age to give all children a head start. Ensure that parents are aware of credible alternative educational options by creating a register of home schools and tutorial sites. Determine the form enhanced parental and community involvement will take by promoting the establishment of school councils. Continuing to build on the strong foundation provided by the Cambridge curriculum using the results of these diagnostic tests to guide school improvement plans. Develop a program to entice high performing senior school graduates to enter the teaching profession. Commit to upgrade the Bermuda College to a university college in a realistic time frame and expand the number of Bermudians attending the University of the West Indies and other regional learning centers, creating affordable options for overseas studies by Bermudians. To see further details of our plans, to prepare the next generation for the global economy, see page 20 of the platform. <laughs> 